This is from the CNN poll. We're not making this up. It's right from CNN.com. 43% of Americans still believe that Saddam Hussein was personally involved in the September 11th attacks on this country. 43% right now in September of 2006, five years later. That is a stunning number. 43% of Americans are dead wrong on a fact, on a fact, okay? You know what that means? That is a colossal failure on the part of the press. There is no excuse for it. No, 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 no. There is no excuse. Of course not. The, the excuse is that the people themselves have to have a curiosity about this. No, they don't. Of course they it do. It is the job of the press to inform the American people that you and they have failed utterly. You, you would be hard-pressed to find in the print press, I'm talking about, a, a lack of discussion of this issue over the past 18 months in this country. It is inexcusable that the people do not take these the, no the yeah, absolutely it is. you know your argument michael i mean i hate to do this but it's so tired blaming the american people I, I, okay, have i, I blamed them always no okay. but, but this fact as you call it has been put out there for american consumption now for over 18 months i'll agree with you that that that, that it has been all over the place but i mean it's it's been tucked and buried and you really have to investigate a story like this a story that has literally changed the face of 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 our country that has had such an impact on the Middle East. Why isn't it a bold face headline on the cover of Time, Newsweek, New York Times, Washington Post? Why is it? It's been why, 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 is it only, why is it only buried in dense, you know, articles that intellectuals read? Between September 11th and today, do you know how many uh, covers they stories they run on Jesus? About 88, okay? I mean, Billy Graham on the Okay, government. Billy Graham, yeah. Jesus, Pat, whatever. Religion, religion, we love you, evangelicals. We love, you know when Jesus died? 2,000 years ago. No, how many cover stories have they run on Saddam Hussein was not personally responsible for 9-11? Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. How many cover stories? Zero. Not one. Zero. N Newsweek, none. Time, none. All these uh, newspapers, these magazines... It's a television! Television! You turn on, when's the last time? Blaring headline! Saddam Hussein, nothing to do with 9-11. Saddam Hussein, nothing to do with 9-11. They don't do it! Why do you think these people have this mistaken assumption? I know that this is a, a topic, though, that has been discussed, I think, in the last 18 months, responsibly by the news media. And I think that it is something that we have come to. It got to the point so much so that the president was forced to say in a news conference the, that, that was the, that that was the case. But that's the thing. Well, I would have to leave. But that's well, the point that I was just going to bring The and president I, even said it in a news conference why it didn't make front page news that's the, pre the well, next day. Well, it did make because front page news. You read the newspaper. That was a featured part in black in the New York Times of what he was said. president finally concedes. Was what, it a what, banner what, headline? What page? What page? Page one on the front page no, above Michael, the fold. Michael, no, I absolutely. See when I, that's where There's I learned. Story in USA Today. Bush says he's made America safe. That's where I. That's the headline. Well, okay. Okay. James, James, you're talking about one story. Within the article are never goddamn mentioned in the goddamn you're, headline. All right. You know, it's it's impossible to talk to you about a con, uh, no about because something. here I'll show it to you. you know, Whoa. I, I mean, USA Today. You're you're not unreal. talking about USA Today. You're talking about. One Show the goddamn paper right here, okay? Uh, what is USA say, okay. safer? Bush says. Picture headline: USA safer. Bush, Bush says. says. Okay. USA Today, Go. you suck balls. You are a terrible uh, newspaper. You know what he did in that press conference yesterday, and how we covered it? He lied over and over about how this was a war between Al Qaeda and Iraq. It's not a war between Al Qaeda and Iraq. It's a war between Shiites and Sunnis. Civil war that we're stuck in. And what does the USA Today incompetent loser say? USA safer. Bush says that is a lie. They've done a terrible job. Every one of these editors in every major newspaper, in every major magazine, in every major television news organization, organization should be fired today. 43% of Americans believe that Saddam Hussein was personally involved with 9-11. That is the worst failure of the mainstream press I have ever seen. Ever seen. And why do you think now 58% of Americans are opposed to the Iraq war? Do you know what that number would be if 43% of them didn't think Saddam Hussein did 9-11? That number would be like 3%. God damn it, they failed us. And if you're not angry about that, Michael, and any of you out there, then you're goddamn wrong. Because you should be angry. Young Turks.